hello 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 everyone i'm akash and welcome to this new video on the channel and in this video what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you why you cannot accept user input in a program running in vs code and how you can do that with just a little step so i'm going to show you that so let's get started so here as you can see that i have created these three files one is a C program, the another one is a C++ and the last one is a Python program. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these three programs in VS Code. So let's just open that in VS Code. So here are all the three programs. So let's just start with running this C program. So as you can see here, the program is uh, still in running state and it hasn't completed. And if you uh, type anything in your keyboard, then it is going to show this message that is cannot edit in read only editor. So let's stop this and now let's run this C++ program. So as you can see here that it is stopped here and it is waiting for user input but again if you go ahead and type anything then you will see the same message and this same thing goes for the python program as well. So it's not just about these three programs if you run any program then it is going to just show that message. So now then the question is how we can get a user input in VS Code. So the simple thing here that we have to get is that all the programs are running under this output section and here you cannot input anything. It is just a read only editor. You can just view the code that is running. So what we want to do is we don't want our code to run under this output. Uh, tab we want them run in this terminal so how we can do that so the first thing that you will need to do that is one extension that is code runner so if you don't have that extension already then you should install it so this is the extension code runner and as you can see here it supports these many things so you can run all these different programs with just this one extension so you need this extension so you have to download this extension by going under this extension section and you will just have to uh, search for this code runner and then you will have to install it and once you install that so after installing this extension what you have to do is you will have to go into the file then in preferences then in setting and here you have to search for code runner so you will see all these different options and you have to just scroll down and look for this option this checkbox so it says run in terminal and whether to run code in integrated terminal so you will have to check this box so by default with this extension you will not get this box checked so you will have to check this box and that's it you are ready to take user inputs in your program so now i'm going to just cancel it and i'm not going to reload anything i'm not going to uh, close my vs code and run it again but in case if this doesn't work then you will have to reload your uh, vs code that means you just have to close it and open it again so i'm not going to close anything i'm just going to straight away show you by running this program so first of all we are going to run this c code so i'm going to click on this run code and as you can see now it is not running under this output uh, tab and it is running under this terminal and it has automatically uh, written this uh, command and it is running this code as you can see it is 
showing this message of enter a value so i'm just going to input one value so like abc and enter so as you can see here you entered abc so it's running totally fine now let's go on to this another one right click run code and as you can see it is started running and let's enter a number so as you can see it is working totally fine so now let's just go on to the last one that is the python code let's run this one as well and let's enter a value abc 10 and as you can see you entered abc 10 so that's it you just have to check that one box and you could to go so i don't know why the uh, extension doesn't come with this checkbox being checked by default but yeah you can anyway do that uh, after installing the extension so this is how you can get a user input in vs code so yeah that's it for this video and if you like this video then do hit that thumbs up button and if you want to see more of these videos then do hit that red subscribe button as well so if you want to share this video to them who are facing the same kind of problem then do share this video to them as well and so yeah that's it for this one and i will see you in the next one